Hey guys, today I am coming to you from a classic horror home you might recognize. This is the home from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was originally in Round Rock, Texas, and then it was moved out here to Kingsland, Texas and restored. And today it is a really nice, lovely restaurant adjacent to the Antler Inn. So if you're staying at the Antler Inn in Kingsland, you can walk over and have dinner here. They're actually having an event out here. You know, in Texas, in Uvalde, Texas recently, there was a school shooting. And so some of the actors from the movie decided to get together and put on a charity event to help raise funds for the victims of that tragedy. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of the home want to come in with me and then I have some special guests that want to say hi to you so come along all right so right here this is the room that had all the bones and the feathers in the movie that Pam fell into and over there that window up front is the one where Sally jumped out later on in the film but this is it it's actually a, uh, one of the dining rooms here at the Grand Central Cafe here in Kingsland, Texas, but this was the room that had all the bones and feathers and I think there was a kind of a metal sofa of sorts. This is it. Then if we move into this room, this room here is the one that was the dining room where the family had the big table set up, where they were having their dinner. Leatherface and the hitchhiker were torturing our poor Sally. It happened right here in this dining room. You can come to the Grand Central Cafe in Kingsland and dine in this room yourself if you would like to. The cuisine is actually quite good. You'd be surprised. <laughs> it is not barbecue or sausage made of human flesh. It's very good. Well, this is not very pretty, folks, but this would have been the kitchen that you saw in the film. Obviously, it's a working kitchen, so I'm not going to stay on it very long, but that would be where we saw Pam get hung up on a hook and a few other characters meet an unfortunate and untimely demise. That is the kitchen. This room is upstairs at the Grand Central Cafe and in the back corner there you might see something that looks a little familiar. Let's go take a closer look shall we? So this would be the area where Sally ran into Grandpa and Grandma who was in the opposite chair right here in the corner where she had that horrific encounter. Of course, that is a replica. That is not an actor in a costume. That is here all the time at the Grand Central Cafe. But this is another room up here. People could come up here to dine or what have you, hang out. There's a little bar. There's another alcove over there on that side. Another table chair, another little sitting area. Very nice, actually. This window right here is the window that Sally jumped out of at one point in the film when she was trying to get away from Leatherface and the horrors that lurked within. Uh, this railing has been installed, I would imagine, to keep people from trying to recreate that moment <laughs> and to keep people safe. So this is actually on the second floor of the home. Part of film history, horror film history. And here we have the grand staircase. This is the staircase where we saw grandpa being escorted down in his wheelchair, being carried down. This is also the staircase where we saw Sally trying to make her get away from Leatherface at one point. There's a few people here today. So this is the grand staircase. I'm gonna try to escape, just like Sally. This is another view of the staircase from the from the main entrance. I wanted to make sure I showed it from that angle. This would be the area right here where there was the metal door where you saw Leatherface come out and attack <laughs> William Vale, poor William Vale, the actor who played Kurt. So it wasn't back there where you see the opening to the kitchen. It was actually right here at the end of this curve right here. That's where the door was at the time of filming. Well, the image quality may not be great because of the sun, but I could not leave without showing you the front door through which the characters in the movie entered, came into the home, and ultimately, well, you know, you know what happened to them. There you can kind of see the doorway into the phone room where Pam fell. 
and then of course and when we turn around we are back here in this hallway there again is our main dining room and to the right is the main staircase now there is another room to the right here but that was actually not shown in the film so I'm not gonna really feature that today but that is it this is the view the characters had when they first walked in before they met Leatherface and well you know so this is the home from the front this is the home scene in Texas Chainsaw Massacre where all those horrific events took place right inside this beautiful restored Victorian home there is a special event going on here today to benefit the victims of the Uvalde incident so there's a lot of activity but I'm gonna try and take you around and show you what it looks like pardon my bumpy cam this is the side of it this actually let me back up a second would be the window here that Sally jumped out of at the end of the movie where there's now the open sign flashing that would have been it around this is the side this home originally was on a piece of land in Round Rock falling into decay and abandoned and eventually purchased moved out here to Kingsland Texas and fully restored so it wasn't really easy or as easy as I thought to walk around the house because there's all these trees but up there that window up on top that is where Sally would have jumped out at that one point. That would have been the window right at the top of the stairs that I showed you earlier from the inside. So this is the back of the house. Now this part over here, this was an addition that was added on later on. In fact, there's a, an additional kitchen and kind of a restaurant bar in there. So that was not part of the original home. The original home, you could pretty much tell. I step back, you can see that green roof green roof line this is pretty much it without this little square addition here that would have been the original home. now because of the special event today there is actually a replica of the van from the film here and spin around and show you what it looks like from the other side <laughs> body parts on the dashboard there left behind by Leatherface here for the special event today we have the replica of the van right down to the bloody handprint left behind by the hitchhiker that's pretty realistic now I read online that some people were wondering if that was a intentional symbol and if it meant something if it symbolized something I was actually talking to one of the actors uh, last night and he indicated that no it was just a random blood smear so nothing intentional at all no symbolism just a bloody handprint And now a word from Alan Danziger, who played Jerry. All my fans? All your fans. Do you want to say hi to them? <laughs> We're having a great time. And I appreciate everybody that's come out, you know, for my 80th while I'm still vertical. I'm com talking in complete sentences. Thank you. Well, happy 80th birthday and thank, thank you. you for thank organizing you. this. Thanks so much. And now a word from the one and only Ed Neal, the hitchhiker. All right, there you go. Okay, now, you wanna introduce yourself to your fans? I used to be Ed Neal, the hitchhiker from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hello, my name is Mikilio Susimita. I'm not from your country. That's in case my ex-wife's lawyer is watching. Good to see you. Next time we're at a horror convention, come on over and say hey because Schmitzer makes head cheese really good. You like it? And finally, Perry Lorenz, who played the truck driver who rescued Sally. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Perry Lorenz. I drove the pickup truck that rescued Mayor was burned at the end of the movie. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad people care about this. And, uh, we're trying to get some money for the Uvalde survivors and the families that were affected by those murders. 
Thank you, Perry. Today, in honor of this special event, there was an unveiling of a new Leatherface statue. There you have it. Last time I was this hot, my mother in law said I'm going to stay another week. That <laughs> <laughs> was hot. Your friends. <laughs> and anybody wants a photo up with us, it's uh, forty dollars, and it's all going to the families in Uvalde. So, if you want to do it, let's do it. Awesome. Ready? Ready? It's a good picture. You can pay me now. Well, you do now. I chopped you up. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> I don't think I heard something.